And so today we are talking about Haruhi, oops, yeah, Haruhi <laughs> Suzumiya, episode Har four. Har Haruhi. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite the episode. Um, because we're getting into some really fun territory here with Haruhi. Let's get this out. I gotta say, at, at some point, I watched a lot of History 2 channel, and it seems like they're the um, channel that likes to blame everything on aliens. <laughs> and and it's always true. amusing. And if you watch too much of it, then you start to think, well, maybe, possibly. <laughs> and so I went to the, I think it was, was mm -hmm. it the MUFON site or one of the mm -hmm. sites, and I started in looking into, well, how does one become a UFO investigator? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually a program because oh, they, really? want, they want legitimate investigators. Oh, okay. yeah. So they, of course, they're selling a course yeah, that uh -huh. you got to take, <laughs> but it, it, it helps everybody approach it from a scientific mm, mm, mm -hmm. uh, background rather than just random <laughs> yeah. people reporting crazy stuff, mm -hmm. which, I mean, well, <laughs> UFO sightings that have that reputation mm -hmm, and they're sure. trying to keep it very mm -hmm. uh, uh, orderly. Mm -hmm. And uh, this episode reminded me of that <laughs> quite, a, quite a bit because it is filled with those kind of, <laughs> of things that should be reported to MUFON. <laughs> well, here's the, here's the funny thing about the episode is that it starts as this very typical high school comedy uh, with this wacky girl uh, who just wants to find weird things and then Starts, you start finding weird things, <laughs> and it becomes all about these, uh, these, these other characters all turn out to actually be, um, well, time travelers and aliens and espers. Esper is <laughs> a new word for me, I haven't used that much. So, that's a thing that, that's, um, that came out in Japanese science fiction as a term for, um, telekinetics people with, um, uh, uh psychic or telekinetic powers. So, what we would call, I guess, psionics or psionicists, <laughs> um, people with psi powers, they, they have the term esper from ESP. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, just they evolved that term. We evolved a different term you know, over the course of time. Um, so yeah. So we started the episode with that um, again. And, and I mentioned last time that this whole sequence with Yuki um, is very Serial Experiments Lane-like. Mm. And, very. Yeah, and that, that really came, especially the, the, the background music is this very weird um, uh, sort of low-key electronic music, which is not like the music in anything else in the series. Uh, it's very reminiscent of Lane um, talking about this whole weird thing. And one of the reasons for that is that um, Lane has a lot of its own, it, it has some alien stuff in it, and it has a lot of stuff about... Um, um, extra normal, extra normal stuff, exactly. <laughs> um, and so they're they're kind of referencing that here to kind of re remind everyone of of, of those things. Um, and what's funny is is how <laughs> Yuki just talks and she just throws out all this terminology and all this stuff about this um, data integration engine thing. Um, <laughs> the most talking we've heard from her <laughs> ever. Absolutely. And this is, uh, now this was the fourth episode. Mm -hmm. So she's, up until now, I think she said maybe 10 words. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the, well, apart from being on film. True. So, yes. Or yeah, film it's true. and yeah. video. You know, <laughs> on, on, on the student project, it looked like. Yes. <laughs> yeah, words of her own, I guess. Um, and and she's, she's very serious. She's very straightforward. Kyun has a bit of a difficulty <laughs> believing all this. As we might understand, understandably, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, so, so what exactly is explained to him? She is so here on. She she's here on Earth to observe Haruhi Suzumiya, because three years ago, um, a a huge burst of data came out from Earth, <laughs> sort of dispersed from Earth, and it centered on this would have been a middle schooler at the time called Haruhi <laughs> Suzumiya. <laughs> Um, and it spread throughout the universe and was picked up by this um, this alien entity that became fascinated and so sent Yuki. And you notice she mentions um, um, uh, myself and others like me. And others like me. Yes. Mm. Uh, we're sent to Earth to observe this Haruhi Suzumiya <laughs> and find out what the heck's going on. Reinforcing uh, Haruhi's statement when she was in school... <laughs> 
only talk to me <laughs> if you're an alien, a time traveler, or an mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so we, we certainly got one here. And so uh, Kion's trying to understand all this. And we're, we're back to sort of normal colorization here as we have a, a simple conversation. It's still a little unclear as to what was going on with that actual color scheme. Because mm. there's the implication that Yuki is doing something to actually change the nature of the room in some way. Um, but that's, you know, we, we don't every, quite know. Every time I see that book, it just, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> my eye is drawn to it. I just want to delve into the story. Yeah, Hyperion's a great, great novel, too. Um, so, uh, so, so then we get our transfer student. Haru Magically just... appears. <laughs> right. hmm, transfer student. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> and, uh, and Haru, he just cannot contain herself. She's so excited. Drags him in by his arm. <laughs> Um, here's an interesting little moment when uh, Kion and uh, Mikuru start playing Othello with each other. Uh, and it's actually Othello. They call it that, which is nice. Um, and then Yuki um, uh, comes up and decides to sit down and, and, and play with Mikuru. And you notice Mikuru's attitude is very concerned. She's, mm. she's very uncomfortable uh, talking with Yuki. And you wonder why that might be. Um, but then... <laughs> Transfer student. <laughs> Here comes a transfer student who seems to be this completely normal guy, Koizumi. Um, and uh, and so he, uh, and he's just okay, fine. I'll be part of your thing, whatever. He does say something that that interested me. He said, "As expected from Miss um, Suzumiya." Mm. Yeah, how's he know? He's a transfer yeah, student. Exactly. How's he expect these mm, things? Yeah, that's that's very. I strange. like how she introduces everybody. <laughs> Number one, two, three, four. <laughs> she didn't say henchman, but something like that. <laughs> you know? I think member number one, number two, number three, and you're number four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. And so, all right. So, so, so now we have five. So this is one of the the key We're points. A club. Yeah, exactly. They needed five people for the club. It's good. <laughs> SOS brigade. SOS brigade. Which again makes no sense. Um, poor Mikuru messes up again. <laughs> and he, here, here he again, comes we're mentioning in at the perfect times. He uh, sure he... does. Every single time Miss Asahina Mikuru is changing, Kion manages to m take that moment to come in. So it's not a bunny this time; it's a maid. It's a maid costume, which she now has to wear at all at all times. She's forced to take photos in the maid costume, despite how embarrassed she is. It's funny how Mikuru is like, like. Yuki wouldn't care. <laughs> um, how he would be happy to do it. The one person who is most embarrassed by this. That's the one you want <laughs> for the photos. And show more cleavage. Show more cleavage. <laughs> oh. Put on the glasses. Of course, Kyun's not going to stop taking of pictures. Course, yeah, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll keep on taking photos. He even puts the camera down to check how many exposures are left. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. Uh, um, so... <laughs> And then Kozumi comes in. What the heck is going on? Um, <laughs> and the glasses. And the glasses. Gotta, gotta put the... <laughs> <laughs> I love, Yuki doesn't even stop reading. She just <laughs> keeps on reading. Which actually, that's a, kind of a hint. Um, yeah, she, she doesn't need those glasses yeah, for reading, does uh, she? Uh, interesting. She's, yeah, she, if we're to believe her, she's mm -hmm. an alien life form. Yeah. Why would she need glasses? She doesn't need glasses to read. <laughs> <laughs> is she really reading? It's just no. absorbing oh, yeah, it through osmosis. Good question. <laughs> So now we get another declaration from Haruhi about the the point of the club to find mysterious events and people. And so she announces they're going to go do that. She is the cause of the club. She, well, she, yeah, She's the founder. <laughs> She's Exactly. We're going to do this. And we, we do that by going searching for... On uh, Saturday. Uh, on Saturday, we're going to go. Saturday and just, afternoon, we're going to turn over every square inch mm -hmm. until we find mystery. Because we didn't get an email. <laughs> right. Yeah, because yeah, no one's emailed us for some strange reason. <laughs> oh, boy, Harley. Um, so here you start seeing the characters in a normal everyday attire. Her, her penalty for being late is pretty stiff, though. Yeah, death. Death. <laughs> <laughs> She's a rather intense person. So they're going to split up, Yep. and they draw straws, the equivalent yep. of it. <laughs> and, and actually, again, here's another kind of hint. Um, everyone's in their everyday clothes. Not just um, Because it's Saturday. School clothes. Right, except for Yuki. Yuki's still oh, wearing her school uniform. That. Yeah. Right, she is. Yeah, 
She she doesn't have any. She doesn't have clothes. any clothes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. a- a- apparently. <laughs> well, it seems <laughs> the aliens don't come with a full wardrobe. Right, exactly. Yeah, she just doesn't. Planet. Who knows? Why would she need uh, extra what do clothes? I need? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So fortunately for Kion, he gets paired with Mikuru, who he has a little bit of a crush on. I think we yeah. we can tell that from she's, now. She's yeah. she's cute. She is absolutely. And so timid. And so timid. <laughs> she, she's more the traditional Japanese housewife kind of a model, I think. <laughs> and so they're they're walking along for her first time. And there's a beautiful bit of animation here when she finally kind of gets up some courage to talk. When um, um, you know, they they've been talking a little bit back and forth, and it's also nice how 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 nice Kion is to her. Um, but uh, she finally decides to to move forward here. The rosy, yeah. <laughs> and she uh, she runs forward mm. and turns around. And with that, that, that's kind of slow motion effect of the of her hair moving in slow motion, saying, "I, I got to talk to you now." Uh, really, be, a beautiful uh, a moment. A walk in the park. Yeah, very romantic. And here's where she realizes that she is, or she she explains that she's actually a time traveler. Confidential. Confidential. <laughs> Confidential. That's classified. Classified. That's classified. That's classified. classified. And we get an, another. Um, but a different kind of stylistic difference here. Hmm. Because we start hearing her voice layered over itself. Hmm. And again, it's, I think it's trying to get across that idea of time travel, that we're hearing things at different times layered over each other. Time traveler, because she is a time traveler. Yes, she is. Or in the future. So she says. So she, she claims. She claims to be a time traveler. Yes, but she can't explain anything about but it. She, she, she can't go any further back than three years ago which mm, is yeah. that same magic number we heard right three years ago mm-hmm. information yeah. <laughs> cloud. three years ago they can't travel back in time to any further than three yeah years ago. yeah mm-hmm. they're locked out of history before that something funny's happened three years ago exactly yes and all centered around Haruhi. and 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 we we get to mention here that um she talks about how when we came back in time yeah who's this we hmm. are there others as no, well. it's, it's Must an interesting be. question. Must be. Um, another thing I want to mention here in terms of animation, when she starts explaining things, they actually do an animation glitch to show oh. what she's talking about. So when she starts talking about how it's kind of like interstitial frames in animation, they show uh, a, a leaf going down the water, mm. and it actually glitches to remind you that, mm. you know, um, things don't have to move sequentially. There's a glitch in the matrix. There's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a really interesting way of, of, of reminding you. And again, it's this, this kind of breaking the fourth wall that the series likes to do. It's really interesting that she's talking about uh, time mm-hmm. in using the, the concept of film, the frame yeah. by frame by frame, mm-hmm. sort of sequential pictures. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's funny to think of time as instead of a linear... Uh, 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 flow segments of mm. sequential flow, mm-hmm. and uh, that that that's a, that's a an, an interesting concept. Yeah, because it it, it means that they could be reordered, mm-hmm. changed around, and the glitch can yeah. occur. Yeah, it can be observed if that's the case. Well, and she talks about a time plane, which implies multiple dimensions, mm. and so you wonder kind of how all that fits into things. Oh. It has a very nice sort of uh, Stephen Hawking feel to it of being because time is a function of space. Um, so um, it's interesting how how I mean, I don't I I'm curious as to what she actually means by that. Of course, now Kion's curious classified. also, yes. and he's trying to get something out of her, and she just <laughs> nope. She, she clams up absolutely. She tells him enough to whet his appetite <laughs> to make him want more. <laughs> she won't she won't let him go past that point. Rather understandably, I think if she what she's saying is true, if 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 yeah. he's to believe her, if he's to believe her, um, and this is one of the other problems with any kind of science fiction story is that if there really is all this stuff going on around Haruhi Suzumiya, it would be in their interests not to tell the full truth for their safety. Who knows? Exactly. I, you know, if somebody's a time traveler. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Well. What would most people do if they're... <laughs> hey, everybody! A very good question. I have no idea. <laughs> what are the scores of the future? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, the fact that she's from the future means that she knows what's going on, presumably. It's already happened. 
mm. um, unless there are multiple. Well, she, she mentioned th- this time plane. This time so maybe plane. maybe there are so multiple it's a branching timelines. Future, yeah. future potentials. There's yeah. this path that leads to this branch and this path. Okay, that, leads to that this makes branch, sense. Sort of clouds. Yeah. Of potential futures. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. And and Haruhi is the key to it, of course. She seems to be the center in all these she sure does. strange phenomena. <laughs> she herself is strange, but these th- these characters she surrounded herself with <laughs> are definitely strange. So then they make it back, and we were talking about lip, uh, lip and mouth movement uh, here. I love how they represent oh, Haruhi's expressions. Her, her, mm-hmm. her, her, her lips, they, you get an angle where you can just yeah. see her emotion uh, on her lip. Mm. <laughs> Oh, they're back at uh, drawing back, straws. Back at drawing straws. Lunch. And and poor Haru, he just does not get there. There we go. The pouty lips. He just Those, does not get And then the wants. expression of <laughs> very very good mm-hmm. emotional. Uh, they are uh, 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 visually uh, represent visual representation mm-hmm. of emotional. I I particularly love in this content. shot when she's uh, <laughs> when they're at McDonald's. With that, um, <laughs> all the W stuff. How she like her mouth opens up and then she grabs the the the. the uh, the the cup there, the straw. <laughs> um, yeah, <I> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so here's the thing: why is she angry at, at, at the, it the, the seems straw that, that she, she uh, did not like the randomness no. that befell her? Mm-hmm. She, <laughs> she not. wanted something more intentional. And, and and so here's the interesting thing: I mean, who did she not end up with either, either time? Uh, yeah. hmm, I wonder. So. so so off Kion and, and Yuki goes to the, the library. The library. Yeah, which makes I, if sense. If I was an alien, I'd want to learn all the knowledge I could. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and I, I love that, that Kion's idea here is, um, is I just want to not do anything the rest of the afternoon, so I'll just <laughs> take Yuki to the library. She'll be <laughs> entertained. I can kind of nod <laughs> off for the next few hours. He so falls can... asleep in the library. That's funny. <laughs> and well, then gets her a library card. She has no idea what to do. She's kind of standing there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Here's how it works on this planet. Right. right. <laughs> Maybe there's some credibility to these people's stories. <laughs> yeah, true. And again, the kind of the, the, the running off. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. he, he likes that. Haruhi is not amused <laughs> because they haven't found any mysteries. Well, she hasn't found, <laughs> she hasn't any. found them. <laughs> well, he's not allowed to tell her. Right. For her. For her sake. So he, here's the thing. You know, each no, person, she, she, she won't listen to what he well, says. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> neither, um, neither Yuki. Uh, well, Yuki doesn't want to tell Haruhi because she says she doesn't want to kind of upset that balance. Hmm. That um, if Haruhi really is capable of all these things, she doesn't want to, you know, um, uh, change her her intention. Yeah. Um, Mikuru won't just won't say. She said, "I I can't explain why you can't do that." Here again, what a wonderful expression on, <laughs> on Haruhi's face. The, uh, the the curved down eyebrows and the pouty lips. <laughs> really nicely done. And again, uh, oh yeah, I, I love this. I actually laughed out loud when I first saw this. That uh, uh, Kion comes in, sees Kozumi and goes, you probably have something to say to me too. Let, let's just get you know, yeah, your yeah. conversation yeah. out of the way. I've already got two weird folks <laughs> and you just magically appeared. So <laughs> let's get right to it. Yep, they sit down. <laughs> and uh, and this is probably the, the the least exciting of the three. Yeah, he's like, well, I'm I I am strange, but I can't really use my powers unless everything aligns, <laughs> and it's a special circumstance mm-hmm. of some sort. <laughs> yeah, N- not very exciting. Um, but he is a member of the, of this this group of espers who have already infiltrated the school. And all of their powers manifested when? Three years ago. Oh, hmm, how interesting. That magic number again. <laughs> all centered around Haruhi. Um, I wonder what Haruhi was doing three years ago. Indeed. That is a very good question. Does she have a past beyond three years hmm. ago? Or is that where she began? <laughs> and, well, and, and that's what, what, what Ko- Koizumi here even says, that um, a lot of them in the organization believe that this world started to exist three years ago. That's a very bizarre belief. Mm, yeah. Who knows if time travel is possible in aliens? Right. And and that's the thing is that, you know, if Haro he really has his, has these godlike abilities, um, she could create a world and give everyone the memories that they had. Every you know, 
So they think they Our did. pieces, right. But if people outside of that world mm. were thrown into it, they may have trouble with, well, yeah. what happened before? Mm -hmm. What happened before the Big Bang? Well, there right. was no observer to... <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, so as far as Kozumi, well, in Kozumi's group, is concerned, Haruhi is God. <laughs> Haruhi is literally God, which is quite... <laughs> that that's 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 kind Quite of scary. It is. <laughs> God is an over hyperactive high school student who likes her friend to dress up mm. in cosplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, friend, friend, kind of loosely. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it, it's it's an unusual group. So it, it sure is. So that makes me wonder what Kyun's doing with them. How does he fit into this whole puzzle? Right. Because and, and Kozumi says, I've done my research. You are completely You are normal. a normal human. Yeah. So what's going on? I, I, I'd wonder if I was like a test subject or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> are are these guys on? running? Uh, how will he respond? And react well, and, and again, aliens or that's the time thing. travelers or experts. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe they are testing him. Hmm. Um, and of course, they don't want to. They don't want to upset the, the balance of God and have her completely reset the world. And and he can tell her anything <laughs> he wants, but she won't, she won't believe him. She won't take him seriously. <laughs> and we see like immediately after that, he tells her all sorts of stuff she doesn't take him seriously. She's like <laughs> Yeah, so uh, true. He seems the most level headed he does out of the group. Yeah. If 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 if, if we're just talking about normal people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. He seems to understand, you know, what's going on. Uh, I also want to point out the the wonderful attention that they they had to continuity here. You see, both the bunny girl outfits are over on the side of the the table. Um, just to remind you, those those are now part of there. Um, as the series goes on, you will see that the, the room kind of continue to expand with all the kind of stuff that they've they've been doing over time, uh, which is kind of fun, as we mentioned. Um, some of the episodes are shown out of order, so you know, one of the one of the cues that you're out of order is that you know, the room has more stuff in it than it had before. Hey, where'd that come from? Right, <laughs> <laughs> chalking up the time travel or uh, uh, setting shows out of sequence rather mm, than time out. Of yeah, sequence. right. <laughs> <laughs> Which really kind of fits with the program. If it does, if you go out of sequence, <laughs> it, it's it's self-referential there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> One of the brilliant things about the show. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, little episode here where the, the previous episode had brought up this idea with the, that Yuki had brought up that, you know, something's going on. And then it's th in this episode is bang, bang, bang. Yeah, there, there was a lot going on in that mm -hmm. episode. The pacing was, was very rapid. Yeah. I was wondering initially when I saw the the maid outfit, if that was going to be another stunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of is, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but they didn't hand out leaflets. It's true, time, yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> kind of an internal stunt, I suppose. Internally. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a very interesting episode. A um, lot of lot of things moving forward. I'm anxious to see what happens next. Yeah. I mean, where, will they, where will they go? I know. And as... Kiona ends by saying, there's somebody I need to talk to, looking over at Yuki. Because um, Yuki seems to be the most forthcoming of, of the three. Now, are they... Do, do, do they know each other's well, background so yet? here's the thing. Does so he ha is, is he can can he well, tell each other about you, well, them? <laughs> if he can't tell her? <laughs> true. So the, well, the evidence we have so far, um, Mikuru is uncomfortable around Yuki. Yeah. So there's a, a strong implication that Mikuru knows that something's up with Yuki. Um, um, Yuki hasn't revealed anything about the other two, but Kozumi said that, um, uh, uh, how do you put it? Um, I guess the other two have already talked to you. Yeah. <laughs> it, so, so it's like he knows already. <laughs> yeah. But as an esper, I would have figured he should. Well, true. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also Kozumi is the, the first person we have now who is a member of a group. Um, you know, Yuki is a, a, a apparently uh, an alien sent by this 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 <laughs> entity. Uh, Mikuru appears to be more or less on her own, <laughs> um, and uh, but Kozumi is is an active member of this group of espers. Yeah, which it's a little more. Um, but they all worrying. sort of say reference to us, and they we, do. Yeah, we as yeah. 
So there, yes, yeah, so I am part that. of a larger organization. I'm yeah. the only one that can communicate. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I know. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, and uh, and the fact that they, they all have these little super agents wandering around in they're, this high school. They're they're like ambassadors of to the weird. <laughs> they are <yes. laughs> representative of their own <laughs> flavor of <laughs> well and, and phenomenon. Kion started the show by saying, you know. At some point, I realized that none of these things existed, and I'm just going to have to live my life realizing that there are no aliens or espers or time travelers. <laughs> and almost immediately is uh, thrust into a situation where he gets all of that at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Good old, uh, good old anime. If only life were like that. Uh, uh... Well, so, sometimes. Yeah. Right, hey, oh. <laughs> I mean, we need to talk to you. Ah. So actually, <laughs> there's a reason to have glass and all this stuff around. I'm actually in the future. Um, so there's Haruhi. I'm a time traveler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we're all technically time travelers. Yeah, just... I just can't get it out of forward gear. I, 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 I can slow it down, but I can't get it into reverse yet. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> got, got to get that figured out. All right, moving over to... <laughs> Yamada's first time. Uh, Yamada's first time, opened... which may actually happen at some point here. <laughs> it, it, it's funny they how they slip things in. Yeah. I mean, there's so much going on in this show that there is. There, it, 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 it's almost hard to 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 cover it all. Yeah, uh, you know, it, they. Uh, you notice something that I thought was really amusing: uh, magazines on the floor. <laughs> in 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 uh, in her room, that was uh, how to what, wait. What, whose room was it? Um, it's, uh, it was uh, Kosuda's, I Kosuda. think. Actually, yeah, I may have gone too far. How to oh, H? Go too far. How to H? Yeah, was, was was the name of the magazine. And then they cut to the classroom. And which one is it? Two um, two H. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The classroom is actually two H. That's pretty pretty hilarious. <laughs> so there, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oops, what the, uh, what the, um, sorry. Ooh, ooh, That's weird. Uh, hey. For some reason, I decided to switch over <laughs> funny, to, funny. Uh, to Haruhi there. <laughs> We're experiencing technical difficulties beyond our control. It's all that time travel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, residual, residual time travel. Residual time travel energy. It, it yes. causes problems with the digital dust. I see. A any digital dust we have digital to dust. brush off the pixels and put them uh, back in and yeah. repack the, yeah. Uh, oh, there we see. I, I, how, I can, to H. how to H, yes. I can tell from the pixels, having seen many Photoshops in my time. Um, <laughs> um, so poor Kosuda here is, is really feeling the, the stress. Oh, 2H. 2H. <laughs> Here's how 2H. <laughs> the characters are all, uh, uh, the boys are all trying to decide. So what guy talk? Yeah. <laughs> so they, they've clearly gotten to this point where they, they're, 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 um, they realize things are going to have to move forward with Masada. With Yamada. Yeah, um, oh. Cute little Masada. <laughs> What's her first time going to be like? <laughs> just trying to imagine her. It's like, no way. She, she, she just thinks her, speaks her mind the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shot. Him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> they're, all, yeah they're all like horrified and disgusted. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, but Kosuda realizes that Yamada is going to be. If anything, worse in yeah. terms of her. Oh, the, just her ordinary responses. <sighs> just imagine <laughs> afterwards. And what's she doing? She's practicing in the mirror, <laughs> rejecting him. How, how to reject him? Yeah. <laughs> how to, oh, <laughs> how to let him down and tell him that he wasn't as bad as bad as he could be. <laughs> he was bad, but not as bad as he could be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There's another episode where Yamada is a little. Tough to sympathize with. Yeah, yeah. Um, she she she's pretty rough, but um, but she 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 seems to confront some of her. She does her emotions. By the end of the episode, again, it gets kind of kind of interesting. So yeah, so so Yamada again her just guy. She, she's she's a bit wait too that wasn't her guy. Not her guy. <laughs> Off he goes, and uh, and again she's frustrated because he's not early enough. She she jumps the gun and she's <laughs> she she's an hour early and then she gets upset for him being late. <laughs> But he hasn't come yet, so she grabs the first guy that... <laughs> and off they oh, go. My. And back to the Kanajo family. Oh, the Kanajo family. With Boy. their strange sort of... 
mm-hmm. relationships. You know, so I love this scene. So oh, we, this is this is beautiful. <laughs> so we come back to to, to Kosada. And he's known for missing his stop mm-hmm. uh, because he helped somebody. Right. So he, he helps some poor old lady who couldn't get out. But then right. not only does that happen, <laughs> but then a little kid is lost <laughs> again. And a pregnant lady brings her <laughs> water. water. A German and comes. Then a foreigner comes and he can't find the station. It's it's like <laughs> beyond a hat trick. There's four of them. <laughs> it's, what is he going to do? Perfect storm of, <laughs> of, of lateness issues. <laughs> so Yamada, she, guy. So Yamada, she, she knows. He, she, mm. Someone approaches her and she's, I'm ready yep. to. Oh, take it back. What, what, what's going on? Who did I just say I'm ready to go to a hell town? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keichi. 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 Kanajo. S- yeah. Sparkly guy himself. The sparkly guy. Who, who, who wanted to get closer mm-hmm. to her and she turned him down right and so she has just asked him about going to a hotel <laughs> <laughs> and Whereupon... Kosada shows up yeah this guy <laughs> so all three are together now oh. and uh and Keiichi to my kind of su- surprise and delight says I want to apologize for, for yesterday he's such a nice guy yeah he really is. And so, he, he seems honest and genuine well, and, in some of his niceness. Well, and, and th- this whole scene, very interestingly, like, well, for a while, yep, um, yep. <laughs> um, he's very forthright and straightforward. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he's got ulterior motives or mm-hmm. that he's hiding anything. He's just interested yeah. in the girl. And, 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 and he, you know, he, he's kind of asking her what's going on. She leaves, and so he very, again, very kind of cleanly turns to Kosada and says, okay, What's the deal? What's the deal? Like, are you guys he's, dating? He, he's doing the honorable thing. He's right. not trying to cut in. He mm-hmm. asks Kosada straight up. Yeah. What's the deal with you guys? Mm-hmm. And um, Kosada waffles. Yeah. He he. Well, he's not sure. Yamada certainly has not been acting like a girlfriend. At that point, he should have made a mm-hmm. driven a stake in the ground and said, "We're together." Yeah. And he could have been vague about it. <laughs> True. But he could have said, "It's us." But he he kind of mm-hmm. waffles, giving giving him room. Yeah, so Brian and have the opportunity to say, "Well, if you guys mm-hmm. aren't an item, right, then I'm going to go for it." Yeah, and again, I appreciate how KG put it. He said, um, "If that's true, I'm going to ask her out. That's okay, right?" And he's kind of pigeonholed there as yeah. not being in a relationship. <laughs> so if if he's not ready to make the decision, mm-hmm. he ends up putting himself in the not position. And yeah. all the whole while, <laughs> the peanut gallery and the booth <laughs> across from them is making all sorts of comments. It's hilarious. <laughs> And Yamada's kind of pissed off because she figures, well, he, you know, there's no way he's a virgin. Um, she calls him on that. That's that's kind of right out wow. loud. My yeah. gosh! The booth next door. Like, oh, did she just? <laughs> <laughs> and so he decides to uh, sort of change tack. But again, very forthright. Well, actually, I am. Yeah, I do have my V card, which was <laughs> an interesting one. I, I, there's this. This show has so many euphemisms. True. And it's incredible. I wonder what the original Japanese yeah. was because <laughs> some of these are obviously uh, U.S. English mm-hmm. euphemisms. Did they Were they as colorful with all their euphemisms in Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to assume to, to a great extent because you know, you know, the language is all about you know, kind of working your way around certain topics. So I'm sure there's a, there's a good amount of that. It, it must have it must have been quite quite an exercise translating no and getting the the intent yeah. of all these situations. My gosh, some some creative input on both sides. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So um, so they have it, they kind of have it out for a little bit, and Yamato realizes, wait, this this is pretty ideal. Yeah, this this guy's got his V card, <laughs> so to speak, and he's he's got sparkles. Yeah. Not bad. Maybe, 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 maybe he's right. The, maybe he's, the, he's, the seed of doubt is in her mind. Exactly. And uh, and she realizes, well, this is kind of what it's all about, right? And so and and so he stands up, even though he's been rejected by her. He he still says basically, well, I hope you ch- you change your mind. Watch so he out. doesn't get nasty about it. No, and he he, he leaves her room to. Ch- to to yeah. follow up with him. Yeah, and, and she picks up picks up on that. She realizes, wow, even with that. He's a good guy. He, he really he is. Gives, he gives an out for people, mm-hmm. which is he doesn't paint them into a corner. Yeah, exactly. Um 
pretty nice. Yeah. So off they go. <laughs> oh, I smell a hot guy. <laughs> oh, she comes. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of splits up the party because you know, okay, that that's that. The poor coaster sort of goes off and says, "I thought we were gonna do the yeah. deed today, and oh. it didn't get anywhere near that." And you know, Marta's just ready to kill Miss Misato. Um, so back to the Kanajo family where Kichi drops the bombshell. And he explains to his sister that he actually asked out Yamada. And she's out for three days. She's out for three days. <laughs> she wakes up. <laughs> oh, it was a dream. No. No. Uh, and now she goes again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time for the count. <laughs> Love the silliness of this. Um, and that weird little uh, uh, side story with the uh, the guys. So, um, yeah, so, so Yamada's friend is is pretty pissed off with her at this point. Yeah, that she's she's acted pretty pretty badly, um, and is kind of trying to convince Yamada what to do. And actually, so, so here's where things start to take an interesting turn, hmm. because she finally kind of gets to that point where she says, "Well, wait a minute." Wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> Love the animation in this, in this scene. Um, but, but she points out that, hey, wait a minute. If if you rejected the guy and he has his V-card, so to speak, that must mean there's something that you feel something about Kosada. And you've got to admit the fact. It's a powerful point. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very powerful point. So something to the point where it <laughs> to resets, the point where yeah. she's rebooted to her last save point. Last save point. <laughs> <laughs> nice little <laughs> reference there. <laughs> Boink. Boink. Back she comes. <laughs> so her last save point. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna reboot it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna reload it. Um, so 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 now kind of okay, so, so now it's on. So kind of Joe's like, all right. I'm I've gonna always wanted take to take the boyfriend and exactly. use him and throw him away like a used tissue. <laughs> totally, she's ready, um, and so she goes to Miano, the, uh, the childhood friend. Childhood friend, the and, strongest bond. Yeah, they know each other. They have history. Mm -hmm. And the, the poor girl is stuck in the middle mm. because what 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 is she going to say? And of course she's not. And finally, we have her her little voice. Yes, her, little, <laughs> her cute little, little innocent <laughs> voice. She's adorable. Um, Give her good advice, and 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 she starts talking about. Uh, I can't help Kosada. but root for her. She's so sweet. Sure. Well, we, we had this interesting thing where we, we were watching this, and we turned to each other and said, "We kind of want what? them to, to end get up together." together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because because Yamada has her ulterior motive. Yeah. But for her, any guy would do. Right. And she has another option. Mm hmm. And the guy's interested. Yeah. The other option is interested. Exactly. And it wouldn't be fair. Uh, it, it wouldn't be fair to Kosada. Mm hmm. To yeah. just be used, especially right. after he's trying to be straightforward and honest, mm -hmm. even though he's not always good at expressing yeah. it. Uh, it seems like it would work out better if everybody. Sure the only person who would lose would would yeah. be um, the gal with her. Uh, mm -hmm. What's her name? What's her name? The one her her uh, the sister, the sister. Mm -hmm. uh, Keiji's sister. Uh, uh, suddenly, Which my one? brain fart. Um, uh, Kanijo, Miss Kanijo. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. What's her first name? Um, I do not remember. I can't remember. They all call her Kanijo. It'll come back. Yeah, but um, uh, uh, she's the only one who would lose out if. Well, but she would lose out on her brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay she's with that. She's gonna lose no matter what <laughs> right, happens. Exactly. <laughs> There's no way for her to win. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fine with her losing her, out on her. Her ulterior motives are all mm -hmm. twisted. Even if she does have sparkles, she doesn't yeah. have the the honest uh, <laughs> benevolence exactly in mind. So there's the no thing. way she can win. Yeah, no. Um, and we have this lovely scene between uh, between uh, Miano and Kosada where they finally sit down and talk for a while and they have a very nice conversation about what they should, what, what they should do, what Kosada should do. And I think they have a moment, mm. you know, where... A heart to heart. Realizes, they're they're heart actually heart. expressing and you can mm -hmm. see their reaction as they get their, yeah. their, their heart hit yeah. <laughs> with the arrows. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh. oh, okay. Yeah. There's a great... Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. There's a great... Oh, it's so cute. There's a great line that Miano, that Miano says, where she says... Uh, I'm sure Yamada will confess eventually. How could she not? And um, considering who's saying that, mm. Mm, it's your hope at some point she will. Yeah. 
So that, that would be a victory. <laughs> yeah, it sure would. Absolutely. The unexpressed, unrequited mm, love. Oh. Finally coming through. That, yeah. So Kana Joe finally makes her move and starts talking to, to Kosada, although she doesn't oh. care one whit about the conversation. Um, but she finally kind of traps Kosada into uh, stopping by because apparently her brother is into photography, or at least she claims that. <laughs> And uh, Yamada doesn't want to have anything. You know, she, she she's ready to just uh, you know throttle, um, uh, uh, to throttle her. But you know, not much she can do at this point because there's the limo, the the, the stream stretch, stretch. <laughs> stretch limo with the rows of guys to <laughs> encourage him to get in. Yes. <laughs> How can you turn that down? <laughs> of course, <laughs> Yamada sees all this yep <laughs> this can't end well uh, so he finally goes to the mansion and um, observance Hello, yes guys. welcome home <laughs> <laughs> and she, mm -hmm. and she seduces him or tries to she, indeed and she's she's really going for the gutso here I she's mean, using her sparkle using her sparkle well and she immediately comes down and sits down right next to him which is fairly forward to begin with and then um, she decides to hike up, hike the up clothing, hike, hike up her dress. This was great. All <laughs> she, of a sudden, steam heats. Yeah. Yeah, she's overheating. Steam. <laughs> and then she she puts her foot on the uh, on the couch. And of course, this is the time legs. that somebody always walks into the room. Right. And what happens? <gasps> somebody walks into the room. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all a little shocked. It's so a little breather there. Because it is horrified. Um, so help me. Help me. And, oh, me. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she 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 knows. And suddenly something comes into the room. Yeah, <laughs> the tiger fires. crawls the through a window. The flaming tiger. <laughs> and it's Yamada. <laughs> She's not having this. <laughs> <laughs> and all you can think, ah. <laughs> and I, I do love and getting back to kind of the, the imagery here. How the um, they're willing to go so far as to just have literally show tiger in the window, <laughs> which resolves itself into Yamada. <laughs> that's kind of what's going on there. She even has a rope around one She's shoulder. She's very motivated. That's she a big is. yard to cross. It that's a lot of security <laughs> gates, uh, all the way up to the mansion on top of a mansion. <laughs> 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 and she takes him out. She takes him out. Yes, that that's <laughs> he, it. <laughs> he is out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a little bit of a heart to heart here. She's almost ready to admit what that she likes him. Wow, that's yeah. quite the statement. Yeah. Yeah. So and she pulls out. She pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Figuratively. Yes. Um, but she she's uh. <laughs> She's a little well, and and she is somewhat justifiably angry here yeah. because it points out that he's just gone alone to another girl's. If they room. really are an item, what's mm -hmm. he doing over there? Right, and uh, he's, uh, you know, what's his excuse? What's his excuse? <laughs> and so it's a it's a cliffhanger hanging there. I mean, she's, right. she's, she's, well, how's he going to get out of this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what's Yamana going to do? Is she going to call him on the carpet and say, mm. fish or cut bait? I mean, <laughs> is she going to let it slide? I don't know how she could. Is she going to plot a revenge? Mm. On who? Well, and that's the thing, is that maybe it's time for Yamana to, to finally take the next step and yeah. just, you know, really commit to this relationship. She's got to commit or she's got to change, I yeah. think. She she does, and this was episode ten, I think. <laughs> yeah, so two more. She she hasn't got much time to get a hundred no. guys. She probably, <laughs> <laughs> very much so. <laughs> if she's well, gonna reach her goal, <laughs> and as as her friend points out, you know, if you really wanted to do that, there are a lot of other guys that you would be pursuing at this point. Yeah, her, so she, she she seems to have some values. She yeah. wants a virgin, mm -hmm. so the V card is very important for her. Indeed. But after that first V card, mm. is that going to be important to her? Or is... Well, and the, the other thing is that you know, the only reason she wants a virgin is that she, she doesn't look silly. Hmm. I mean, it, it's it's a, a rather self vain right, yeah. thing. Um, 
So once that's taken care of, you know, I don't know that she's going to have a lot more um, standards, if you will. So maybe without those standards, she'll show mm, less restraint. Who knows? Boy, that's a scary thought, isn't it? Because <laughs> she doesn't have much. <laughs> she sure doesn't. Restraint. The only restraint she has is misguided restraint. This is like true. Not being able to express her emotions mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. Uh, expressing them in almost the reverse pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very. I, I think that's strong. what makes her angry. She she yeah. she she doesn't know how to express uh, except for mm -hmm. anger. Yeah, when it comes to that. So. Yeah, yeah. There, there was an interesting term that uh, the guys mm. who were having their chat used yeah. this time around. Uh, tilf. I've I've heard of milf, <laughs> but I I hadn't heard of tilf. It's an it's a natural yes. extension of the Speaking concept. Of it, teacher. Uh, their gym teacher. The gym teacher. Hot for teacher. Hot for teacher. <laughs> and Helen would say. <laughs> Yeah, and we, it's one of the things that this show I think does pretty well is is show what sort of those high school kind of locker room conversations oh, are yeah. to be like. <laughs> oh, I think uh, most guys go through school and have one teacher that they're thinking. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, especially with all the uh, turbulence of uh, hormones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're getting close to the end of Yamada. Oh, oh gosh. No. We've been we've been chugging through I've this been series. I've been laughing so hard on this. Yeah, it's been a really great one. It's gonna be tough when we move on to something else. So they 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 their their use of 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 euphemism, mm. metaphor, and uh, you know, just the the way that they approach concepts. Yeah, is 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 different. It's not as literal. It's very figurative. Yeah, and 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 that that really that really sets this this series. I apart from, from mm. most series. Mm -hmm. now, I've seen some other series use those yeah. techniques, but this one uses it in a particularly effective manner yeah. in dealing with the concepts that may have been lost in translation had somebody yeah. not uh, taken the time to mm -hmm. use uh, 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 English-based mm -hmm. euphemisms yeah. to come to the concept. And, and exactly. the animation just adds to that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And... Other comedies will tend to have a certain amount of, of metaphor and, and euphemisms and such, but they're, they're usually um, sort of done outside of kind of the reality mm. of the story, whereas well, they're much more integrated in, in Yamada. It, it, it kind of reminds me, uh, High School Rumble had oh. uh, some some good ways of, of taking it into those areas gotcha, nice. as well. Uh, another uh, using that technique mm -hmm. that... Uh, uh, was it seemed pretty effective cool nice but, that's one of those series I'm, I'm trying to pick up but it's the the dvds have gone way out of print ah, it's really hard to find really? nowadays cool. yeah yeah i think i watched it streaming until mm. my internet connection was uh, yeah. <laughs> too slow <laughs> <laughs> one minute watch five minute buffer one minute watch <laughs> ah, no <laughs> so that is yamada's first time so uh we'll be back next week with the penultimate episode of yamada and a bit more of Harley. Oh. Yeah, exciting. Yeah.